Hey guys, how's it going? So I've had a few family and friends ask me about um, you know room service and getting stuff delivered. So I thought what I'd do is just have a quick run around the room here and um, let you know what we can and can't do. Okay. Mandatory minimum sentences. So I am finding myself fortunate to have landed in the intercontinental. I have stayed here before uh, for a work trip not, not that long ago. Um, decent facilities, um, you know, modern and clean and, um, you know, very quiet, um, proper blackout blinds and things like that. Um, there have been some, you know, complaints about, you know, you see in the media, you know, people complaining about where they're staying and the, and the quality of food and stuff like that. I don't think you're going to get many complaints from this place. Um, it is pretty well set up. So kind of working around the room, I've got this little corner office set up, which is where I'm doing most of my stuff, most of my work. I've got plenty to work on and um, plenty of things to keep me busy. Got this little day bed, um, sun bed, whatever you want to call it. No balcony, but a decent sized window on a beautiful Perth day. Um, we're in the middle of the city, so that's Hay Street just there. Uh, I do get some direct sun come, come in the afternoon, so which is nice. Uh, warms the place up and and all the rest of it, which is cool. In the corner here, I've got the phone, which I get called on like five times a day about various things from the nurse or food deliveries and things like that. Got this little Bose mini speaker, uh, which is really nice to have. Bluetooth in it and Spotify has been getting a workout, so that's actually really helpful. Um, it's making my life a lot, a lot more comfortable. Plenty of light controls. A decent sized bed, a decent sized TV. Pikachu is making an appearance. I'm bringing him home for my son. So he's there. Uh, more controls in the corner here, lots of outlets. There is this uh, shear up and down, which gives me the ability to, you know, bring the shear at the window up and down, which is also really good to have if it gets too hot when the sun's beaming in. Over here in the corner, we've got this little amenities kit right next to the front door where there's like aircon controls and stuff. In here, it's like a little kitchenette. So I have had got some stuff delivered. I've got a few beers and a snack pack delivered to so some Cokes and some ginger beers and things like that. I've got this little coffee kitchenette uh, with a, you know, Nespresso. And there's a bunch of pods in here as well. I did bring my own coffee because I didn't know what I was going to have. I've also been getting delivered these little um, tea bags with each meal. Not sure I'll use them, but whatever. And there's like a little table for doing coffee or stuff, stuff like that. I bought these snacks with me, but these I got in the snack pack I ordered. So I got some chips. There's a proper teapot here, which is nice, and some, you know, English breakfast and China jasmine tea and stuff like that. Again, it's a five-star hotel. There's not much to complain about. Safe, which I've got some of the goods in. Here I've got, uh, you know, a little storage space. So, you know, putting in some of my storage stuff, and I've got my alcohol contraband here, some wine glasses. Storage for jackets, luggage compartment in the bathroom. Decent setup, so nice shower um, with a rain shower. I've created a little, uh, you know, kind of cupboard here with all my stuff, my toiletries and clothes and things like that. They did give me some laundry powder, which was good, so I can do some basic washing. They gave me some dishwashing concentrate as well, um, so that's pretty good. Nice bathroom, toilet, you know, it's a toilet, whatever. Got this bunch of paperwork when I arrived, you know, going through the deal about the self-isolation and meal delivery times. Usually what happens is, uh, you know, they'll deliver it to the door and then I get a phone call a couple of minutes later, someone telling me that the, the meal's at the front door for me to go grab it. Um, you know, rubbish collection, uh, mini bars empty, can drink the water from the tap and things like that. Wi-Fi access codes, care package delivery, you can get care packages delivered here. Um, you know, there's a nurse on call, she's called me at least once a day and I'm sure she will continue to do so. 
toiletries and vitamins. There's a chemist warehouse just across the road. Um, so you can get stuff delivered directly to the room, which is cool. So for example, I left my um, razor in Indonesia. So I just did a click and collect. Also got a bunch of, you know, just bars, some extra snacks. All they have are those protein bars though. Um, maybe I'll come out of this looking like Lee Carmichael, who knows. <laughs> So there is a snack menu. Um, so it's not room service, but it is a snack menu, and you can get these things delivered. So you can see, like, there's a non alcoholic pack and coffee and sweets, and you can get some fruit, you know, with like cashews and sparkling water and things like that. You can also get wine packs and beer packs delivered, which is very, very nice. I'm, I'm very happy about that. Uh, there is a champagne pack. Champagne. Saturday night could be the goer. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so, yeah, look, it, it's, you know, it's isolation, but it's not too bad. This is a good place to be, I think, uh, comparing some of the other locations. I might even pre prefer this to Rock Nest. I mean, I don't know what the conditions are like out there. But um, I'd say this is pretty good. This is pretty good. I'm not going to complain about landing here. So that's it. Thanks.